Moving on to another field of science, we meet a Vietnamese celebrity scientist who has discovered 23 new bacterial species. His passion for microbiology won him four PhD scholarships to four top universities in Australia. He chose to settle for UNSW to follow microbiology. Thanks to Oz101, we get a chance to actually meet the guy on campus right here where all the magic happens. So, hi Hong, how are you doing buddy? Hi, I'm doing fine. Yeah, nice to meet great. you. Could you give us an update on your research? How's it going with the new um, bacterial species? Very interestingly, I've actually discovered a few more. Actually, I've discovered 100 in total, but um, I'm in the process of describing another 13. So that should bring wow. up the numbers to 21, hopefully, oh, sooner nice. or later. Right, so um, I can see that your research is progressing a lot. Now, what role does the university play in this progress of yours? Oh, the university has been a lot of help. I mean, obviously, aside from the uh, scholarship that I got from the university, which of course has supported me financially, um, as you can see behind me, um, the uh, facilities are world class. I have a lot of colleagues, both um, inside and outside of my lab group, who are very, very knowledgeable about a very wide range of, um, of topics. And it's great to have people who are just a few steps away they're so forthcoming with um, all their information and all their help. Mm -hmm. that, that makes life so much easier. I noticed that you actually earned yourself a scholarship here as well. Can you tell us more about how you clinched this scholarship and how it has supported you over the years? I was contacting various different uh, professors and I met Professor Torsten Thomas and so we met up one day and he was like, I'm looking for someone who has like all these diverse skill sets, you know, I need someone who knows a bit of, about microbiology, uh, marine biology, molecular biology, bio bioinformatics and blah blah blah. It just and sounded exactly like you at the yeah, time. Yeah, and so I was just like, oh, well, interestingly, I actually did all of that. After chatting a bit more, we realized that it was a perfect fit. and. Yeah, he gave me the scholarship. It's destiny, baby. Yeah, it is. I, I must say it, it is because um, I have not regretted one single day of this at all. So just casually like that, you got a scholarship. Is that is that <laughs> how how um, people can have access to scholarships here? Just purely with their talents? Yes. I mean, see, when you mentioned the last bit, I, I can agree with that. Because um, I don't want to say casually because it does take effort. But the thing is, and I want to express this to everyone, that um, when you're looking for a scholarship or whatever, right, um, obviously you must have a certain grade already for you to be able to get one, um, regardless. Mm -hmm. But once there, you know, really think about what projects you want to go into and where you can do that. It doesn't have to be uh, at a certain university or even in Australia, for example. Mm -hmm. And when you open up, when you expand your horizons, you have a lot more opportunities. And that's where it comes from. So it's about creating for yourself the actual opportunities themselves, rather than thinking that you know, this, has, this has to be luck or you have to be extremely talented to go for just that one particular uh, scholarship or whatever. Does that mean the university is willing to splash the cash uh, if they find true talent, if they find someone with real, a, a good set of skills? I've seen so many different people from so many different backgrounds have the opportunity to do their research here, whether it's just an internship or as a PhD, as part of a PhD program. Um, so obviously the uni is always seeking true talent. All right, brilliant. Thanks so much. I enjoyed that, that great chat and good luck with your future endeavors. Awesome. Well, nice Cheers. talking to you. Thanks, brother. And um, yeah. I want you, you know I want you so bad, it's driving me mad, so start subscribing.